deeper look into what's going on with our chemical kinetics. And really the question we want to try to answer is why do some reactions proceed faster than others? Why are some reactions very quick? Why are some reactions relatively slow? What is involved in that? And the first idea that we're going to be utilizing is the tra idea of transition state theory. A transition state is a theoretical model that we use. It is a species that is roughly halfway between our reactants and our products. And so it's the idea of we are transitioning between our reactants and our products. And this is going to give us an idea that we can use to understand the kinetics. Uh, you may also find that transition state is called an activated uh, complex. You may see that term used and it just means it's highly reactive and it's not going to stay around. So when we look at this we have a generic reaction and what's happening is hydroxide is coming in and pushing off our chlorine all happening in one step. And this is the energy diagram. You've probably have seen one of these before. So this is our reaction going forward and as we go up we're going uh, to a higher energy state. And overall what we have is reactants going to products. And you've probably already heard this, that if my products are lower in energy than my reactants, we are talking about an exothermic reaction. So there's overall a loss of energy that is going on. So energy is being emitted with this. But just because energy is being emitted doesn't necessarily mean that the reaction is going to go. And so there's more to it, that there's kinetics involved with it. And with the kinetics, we need to go through our activated complex here. And so this is our transition state. We'll take a, a better look at this here in just a second. But to go from reactants to products, we need to go through this highly energetic state, our transition state. And once we get over that hump, you can see there's a severe loss of energy and it's very easy to go down. So it's all about, do I have enough energy to go from my reactants to my activated complex? Because once we get there, it's very easy to go to products. So this distance, this difference in energy between our reactants and products, it, we're going to find out is called our energy of activation. So with many reactions, we need to put some energy into it to get to the reaction to start going. So kind of a prime react, uh, idea of that is um, I, to burn a log, you got to put some energy into that reaction to get it going. So this is also true for many other reactions. And we're going to find that this energy of activation is one of the main ideas that we use to determine how fast a reaction is. So the larger the energy of activation, the harder it is to go from our reactants to our activated complex, the slower the reaction is going to be. And likewise, the smaller the energy of activation, the faster the reaction is going to be. So let's take a closer look at this activated complex. So here's a better picture of our transition state, our activated complex. So it is in brackets, which means it is a transitory molecule. So it's not really sticking around. And we use this, uh, it's called a double dagger to indicate we're talking about transition state. And really what we're trying to represent here is a species that is halfway between our reactants and our products. And that's what we're trying to show here. Um, during this reaction, what we're doing is two things. We're breaking a carbon chlorine bond and we're forming an oxygen carbon bond. And so that's why we use this little dash uh, bond here that means this bond is partially broken, this bond is partially forming. So we're in between these two things. Also, if you remember, what else is happening during this reaction is the negative charge is moving from the hydroxide to the chlorine. And we show that by saying that there's a, a partial negative charge. So that's what this delta means. It means there's a partial negative charge. So in our transition state, the negative charge is partly on the oxygen, partly on the chlorine. So it is in transition, the negative charge is um, going from the oxygen to the chlorine inside of this molecule. So the idea here is, once again, activated complex unstable, need to put energy into it, but if I can do something to change the stability of this activated complex, I'm going to change the rate of my reaction. That energy that we used to get to our transition state is called the energy of activation, and it has the units of energy, so typically kilojoules per mole. And this is the energy barrier that must be overcome. So we must overcome this energy barrier to um, cause our reaction to go forward. And so the larger the energy of activation, the slower the reaction is going to become. And so we're going to find out when we actually look at what are some of the pieces that make K for a reaction, we're going to find energy of activation is pretty important.